Hey everyone, welcome to Jira Beginners course and in this video I am going to discuss about some of the productivity options or keyboard options, shortcuts, search options that will really help you to enhance your productivity when you are using Jira. So first thing is the shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts sometimes or most of the time will save you a lot of time instead of navigating everything within Jira from your mouse. How it is helpful? I'll go ahead and quickly show you. So let me go to the project. All right. And now here within the project, if you want to see what all keyboard shortcuts are available and present, simply click or select the question mark from your keyboard. Okay. So let me just click and select the question mark. You will see keyboard shortcuts by default. Keyboard shortcuts are enabled. I can disable them, but keep it enabled. It's really, really helpful. Now, these are some of the global shortcuts that you can basically use. So quick search if you simply Simply press forward slash on your keyboard it will open the quick search window let me close this and if I click on the forward slash you will see that search window open right so now quickly what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go through the global shortcuts you will see that close drawer create issue another very important one and very handy quick search is really handy I use it most of the time create issue just press C to create an issue right instead of looking forward here and there of the button simply press C and that will open the create issue window all right keyboard shortcuts question mark will open this particular window that I am navigating now find issues G then I right now not everything will be really helpful but over the period of time if you are a more of keyboard person you will learn and get used to it and you will find using keyboard a lot more easy because I personally use quick search create issue shortcuts toggle sidebar is another great one wherein if I want to toggle the sidebar or open the help panel these are really great and easy ones to grasp and use on a day-to-day -day basis command palette I'll cover that in a moment but this is also really helpful it opens the command palette I'll co cover that uh, then around the issues navigating the issues viewing the selected issue next issue previous issue all of this there are shortcuts right so if you remember these or you are you using it very frequently you can just use the shortcuts that are available there okay then if you go in the issue actions you will see assigning issue simply press a i will open the assign issue window commenting on the issue m watching issue w right so these are some of the very important shortcuts keyboard shortcuts that you can use similarly plan shortcuts is basically around the time span setting time span to months etc so you can go through this and use Use or basically grasp whatever you use very frequently in your project for example for us create issue toggling uh, switching from the switching boards to sprint to backlog that's very important so board shortcut one two and three is very important for us being into the software development so backlog active sprint report one two just one two three will help you to navigate there okay so let me show you so for example this sidebar right so if I simply press if you if I hover over okay so you'll see the square bracket to expand you simply press that square bracket and it will, it will expand to collapse again square bracket it will collapse that now if I just press C all right it will open create window here all right this window got open when I pressed C on my keyboard okay so this is very helpful when you are creating the issue so instead of me going clicking here and then opening this window I simply press C and it will open that particular window now the project for example the planning right so here if I have I'm into the planning section I want to switch between the board the backlog or the active sprint if I press one okay it will go to the backlog all right you'll see I just pressed one on my keyboard it went to the backlog two goes to the active sprint to the board all right and three goes to the reports so number three goes to the report so it will open the report page so these are you know some of the very good and important shortcut now not necessarily memorizing everything all at once just start with the few basic ones that you use on a reg regular basis you will get used to it right for others simply press question mark and will open the shortcut keyboard shortcut window and you can refer it from here if you are using something frequently or you want to navigate the issue next 
for example next issue j previous issue is k right so, or you are viewing the selected issue that's basically just o all right so that's basically how you build your skill set around or remembering these keyboard shortcuts now the second important thing that will enhance your productivity a lot is the command palette all right everything that you will need is there in the command palette so simply pressing control k will open the command palette so if i press ctrl k on my keyboard you will see i have this command palette open and it has literally everything available here whether i want to go to backlog or go to project to report to timeline everything is available here i can straight away start typing in this particular search box if i say okay search something all right so search issues projects go to issues right go to new issues so it it will go ahead and search from the project navigation from the search from the settings everything that is available command palette will help you to filter out the results accordingly within jira whether you are a jira administrator a user or a project manager command palette will help you in each and every aspect of it so if i simply say forward slash it will start providing me the search window all right if i remove that you will see i have this product project navigation i have quick actions for creating issue copy page url and then you will see the shortcuts are available as well here right so you can simply just remember one which is basically open the command palette all right and then accordingly just scroll and see what exactly you want to do all right and accordingly you will also get the shortcut if for that particular action keyboard shortcuts is available right for example if I want to view all issues then I'll press G and I okay and then it will open this particular option and if I say open in new tab control enter right so i'll say control enter and it will open in a new tab and all the issues are available here okay so this is basically how these quick actions keyboard actions command palette are going to help you as a user as a administrator as a project manager or whosoever whatever role you have in your team while you are using jira and help you to enhance your productivity within your project so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful see you in the next one thank you